Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to do a bit of routing work. We're going to route out this nice chief's head and the fancy head dress. Once that's done, there's a lot of paint to go on. So, same procedure as always. Stick your template down, your pattern. If you're really clever, you can just glue that straight to your wood or glue it on top of painter's tape and you can route over the top of the wood all the way around. It saves a lot of drawing, especially on something like this, but I can't do it that way. I've tried twice now and the paper's everywhere and I just can't follow my lines. So the way it works for me is to get your image, put your carbon paper, graphite paper underneath and basically just draw around it. It seems uh, awkward at the time, but it works for me and once it's all done you'll be basically left with that so that's all good to go you can see from that just about shading the areas that you're going to remove because you'll get carried away i've nearly did it on that section there i don't know if you can see start coloring that in but that wants to be left so i've got to be conscious of that so yeah we're going to start routing this out the bits I'm going to use, as always, are these little CNC bits. I'll get mine from eBay. They come in with different degrees, 30, 60. I won't like to say what these are. I think they're all mixed up at the end of the day. But they have a quite a small shaft on them. So you will require a collet. And that just basically slots on there like so. And then that's a uh, quarter inch and that will now fit into your router. No problem. This is so pointed, it's just like a pencil. And I'm just going to draw around all the bits that are marked off like so. And then I will probably do most of it with this because it's quite a tight areas around here. But if not, we'll put a one eighth bit on and then start taking out all the dark sections. So let's set this up and we'll start routing this out. We've gone all the way around with our CNC bit. There is quite a lot of small areas, so I will be putting it back on again to like get in between these here. This one eighth bit that I'm going to put on now, we'll use to get rid of this bigger pieces in between these boxes here uh, and round here and so. But in between these feathers, it's too big to fit, so we'll end up putting our CNC bit back on. So we'll throw this one on for now, start removing around the edges and as much as we can and then I'll go back to the CNC bit.
Right, we've gone all the way around with our 1 8 bit. I put the CNC bit on because these bits are just so small, you just wouldn't get in with it. I did panic about these corner pieces. Maybe one of them didn't pop off, and we didn't. We got lucky. Still got this outer bit to take out yet. And basically just drop this up, drop this around to the same depth of what the inner is. So I'll do that next. And then we'll use the Dremel and a little sanding burr or some description. Whatever we can find. Just give it a general tidy up. And then we'll get on to the painting. So I'll remove this back section now. Any bit will do. Just something nice and quick to remove it. Right, we've cleaned that down as far as I'm prepared to go with the Dremel, sander paper and anything else that we can get our hands on. And that'll be near enough for me. What we're going to do now is paint the background black. Just a simple, basic satin wood black like that. And what I've got this time is I've treated myself to some nice acrylic paints. This is the first time I'm using these acrylic paints, so... Anything could happen. So before we do that, I'm going to brush on, uh, sorry, going to spray on some, just some sealant there. It's not that desperate because everything is going to be painted. But normally, if you're just painting in between here, it just seals the end of these carved out areas to stop the paint from bleeding into the wood. So for the sake of a couple of seconds, we'll spray that on. Paint all this black. Sand it all down. And hopefully leaving all the black areas and then we'll start painting all these with some nice bright colors i'm going to leave this background just clear for now because there's just too much paint on this once it's all finished so let's get our spray on get the black paint on and we'll start getting some color on this Right, that's all we need. We'll let that dry and then we'll start putting our black paint on. Right, you can see from that we've put all our black in. I've put the two red lines on the face here. So if you can see that. Now I'm going to sand this bit off just to make it smooth because all this is getting painted. I suppose you could paint straight over that black and save yourself some time. But I've not used this acrylic paint before, so I don't know what it's going to do. Having done the two red strips in here, it's quite a dull colour. So we're definitely going to want some kind of varnish or some kind of coating on afterwards just to give it a shine. There is acrylic gloss paints that you can buy. Obviously, I've got the wrong ones. So anyway, we're going to give it a little sanding over and we'll see what it looks like.
Right, that's all sanded down. I actually like it like that, to be honest. Bit of linseed on there, bit of varnish. But however, I've got acrylic paints and I'm going to use them. So let's start putting some paint on and we'll see what we've ended up with. Right, we've finally got all our painting done. It's the first time I've used these acrylics. I don't even know if I've got the right ones or not. I think an acrylic gloss will be better for next time. But I'm eventually going to spray all this with some kind of varnish. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it is complete now. The colouring of the skin, I just put linseed oil on that. And that just darkened it down nicely. On the original picture it was all painted yellow but I prefer that more natural skin tone. What I'm going to do now is put some Danish oil on the back here. I did think about rippling this effect but uh, on this one I'm just going to leave it. So I'm going to put some Danish oil on. I would normally use a linseed oil but I don't want it to be the same colour as his face. So we're we'll basically just throw this on now and hopefully It shouldn't be too much in your face. So I'll fill this, put all this linseed oil on, give it a good soaking in, and we'll see what we've ended up with. We'll come back at the end when it's finished. Right, this project is finished. Acrylic paints, first time I've used them, they're okay. I might have got the wrong ones, to be honest. I have no idea. I normally use painters' touch paints, and they just seem to go on a bit better. But I'll get used to it, and I will persevere and stick by them. I'm going to leave the background like this, because I like the colour of the face. That is basically just linseed oil on there, to darken his face down. On the original picture... It was all painted yellow, but I quite like that. It looks more like a skin tone. Uh, I sprayed over with my clear sealant half a dozen times just to give it a bit of a shine. This is all dry now. But you can see the nice shine on there. Yeah, so this project's finished. One chief said routed out project painted with acrylic paints 16 inch by 16 inch thank you for watching <laughs>